morning everybody, Jason Hollis Farms. I'm on my way to uh, meet Sherwin. I've had this uh, camera for the hog trap fixed for a little while now. We're just now getting to where we can get together and, and go uh, put it up. So hopefully it'll work. He's still, he's had a trail camera, game camera, whatever you call it, right there at the uh, hog trap ever since we pulled the camera out, been keeping them baiting up. So it's like a group of nine that's real regular. Well, I hope we can get them this first night. That'd be a good catch. I hadn't had any action over the panel trap. But boy, I tell you what, we have we have caught a lot of hogs on our place. And when you get down to just a, like a handful, boy, it seems like they are just hard to catch. We're steadily getting pictures of them, gonna put the trap up, nothing. So. I'm going to leave it there because I had not got anywhere else I want but that one right now. They'll be back too. They should be. They may have something to do with all this dry weather and all done move kind of more back off in these bottoms. But we'll just leave it and see what happens. We're going to catch a group of hogs tonight. Hopefully. So we got the hog trap back going. He's been standing just on the other side of the trap. He's had a little uh, sail trail camera there. Been getting pictures. So I think nine they hit by every day. So we didn't bother them too much this morning. I bet they come in this afternoon. That's going to be a good drop too. Be a good catch. All right, y'all. I ain't done this in a while. My truck just wouldn't drive on by. Sausage biscuit with cheese. <laughs> How's she doing on quick, girl? Mm. All right, y'all. So when I was coming to the house, I was thinking about filming, getting ready to uh, deer hunt. Hadn't had any of this camera stuff out. I'm fixing to show y'all since probably turkey season because I usually just use this little camera that I'm filming with right now just about every day. So I got it out. I got to do some charging and the less you use something in a while, you kind of got to get back used to it. So let's turn around and go over some of these things that I use for self-filming. All right, first thing I'll go over that if I'm sitting on the ground or in one of our shooting house, this is the tripod I use. I've had, this is actually the first tripod that I ever had. I've got a bigger one and y'all know I'm always trying to get lighter. So I kind of customize this thing to do what I want to do. It gets plenty high enough. It's plenty sturdy enough. Got the remote with the zoom power on and record button on there. It's got a little knob that's broke off and that used to look like that. But anyway, this thing is solid as a rock for what I wanna do. Um, of course, I showed y'all the camera arm when I showed you my tree stands. I've got that camera head that goes on it. And this is a pretty big camera. I'll show y'all here in a minute. The camera is nearly big as the camera arm and it's sturdy enough for that. I've also got this other camera head that's got a remote on it like on the tripod i kind of go back and forth i gotta I, I really like this one especially if i'm bow hunting in the woods because i don't do a lot of zooming and stuff you just kind of get in the woods type situation a lot of time it's not much zooming just kind of pointing and shooting but as far as my main hunting camera if y'all see me in a spot that i do a lot of long distance zooming this is it the canon xa11 this has been a super good camera uh, this thing comes with that deal on top that's got the external mic and all and i've done some testing uh myself and with y'all on a video a lot uh last year if i'm pointing uh, away and say we're sitting in a shooting house or filming a the uh, turkey whatever and it's pointing away with that big mic on it and i kind of start whispering uh you can't hear it and i'd have to get one of them voice deals or a different mic and i just i don't know it's just something else to tear up y'all know i'm always trying to get light and um the audio on the the camera itself is fine and everybody seemed to agree with that last year when i did that test sitting in that shooting house oh uh, Every once in a while, I'm trying to remember if this camera's been so long since I used it. I think you can hear it zoom a little bit or something. But anyway, it's not a not a deal breaker. So I just leave the camera, all that other stuff hooks in right here and screws in and all. I just 
I just took that off and just use it like that. It's a lot easier to pack and all. But the Canon XA11, that's kind of my go-to hunting camera. Uh, they're pretty tough. I think that may be my second one. I think one of them finally, I think it was last year, may have went out. But boy, it's been through the ringer. Uh, never got it wet. It just, I forget what happened, but it just quit working. So we had to replace it, and that hurt a little bit. But uh, I like the quality of it. I mean, it is some super video. Oh. This is an Osmo Action. I've got a couple of old GoPros. I tried one of these several years ago, and this is exactly what I'm filming with right now. I got to where I use it every day. I got this one that I use more with Cody. But uh, this one in my hand is the same thing as this, and I just, I like the quality. I like the price of it. Uh, I hadn't had, GoPro, a lot of time you get some glitches in it, and they'll just make you so mad. But so far, these things either work or they don't. And I hadn't had but one of these go bad, and I mean, I use it every day. All right, this is a camera. I got to sit down. Oh, for a minute. This is a camera here that I used to use just about every day. Um, and this is a tough joker. This dude's got super audio. It's got a pretty good zoom on it. It's the Canon G7X. A lot of people use this camera. Uh, a lot of times if I'm in the woods in a tight situation and really want to get light, I'll carry this one and put it on my camera arm. It's a super camera from that for that. Battery life holds up super good. Uh, this is a good all-around camera. I just got to where, I, like I said, I was using it every day. And uh, I got to fooling with these Osmos, and I just like them for my daily tractor work, running down the road or whatever. But got my little whiskers on top like I got on all my cameras, except these Osmos, you really don't need it for the wind noise, but this Canon G7X will be another go-to for my, I've done some turkey hunts with it, I've done deer hunts with it, as long as they get in there pretty tight, the audio is good anyway, but if you get in there pretty tight, you can zoom in, you get out there, you know, 100 yards in, this camera's good, uh, you get much over that, the bigger the XA11's better, oh, uh, but I'll probably, especially early bow season stuff, still got a lot of foliage on the, uh, trees and all of course a lot of stuff most stuff we hunt pine trees anyway they stay about the same but uh yeah tight bow hunting situation where i'm not really worried about zooming this will be a good go-to and like i said the battery life super these are some good cameras and the the thing i'm gonna show y'all one-handed oh uh, if you're kind of filming yourself you can flip the screen up and you know see what's going see yourself in it or whatever kind of like it's osmo it'll flip around where you can see it I've got this one of these Tacticams. These things do real good. They're a little more aggravating in your editing process as far as transferring footage and stuff like that. But I've got a shotgun mount. I've got a scope mount. I need to put it on the scope mount because when you put it in the scope, it sees exactly what you're looking through the scope. And I got a stabilizer mount for my bow. Oh, um, I don't know. I put the mount on my bow for the Osmo the other day, and they're just so easy to fool with. Sometimes, sometimes these can get just a little aggravating sometimes, especially doing a video every day. But I got that camera head on there, and uh, I got this one with the zoom on it. I, got, I want, really would like to use this. It gets a little more bulky. It just depends on how I get my packing all worked out, and uh, I need to bend this bar. I know I remember I've had it flipped over before where it was angled down and it would mess up on my camera arm and I flipped it up and I don't like that. It really needs to be straight and I'm going to stick it in a vise or something probably and straighten that out. I'm not crazy about a head mount, but it's not a bad view. If you like, if you're shooting your bow or whatever, I always got that with me just in case. Um, uh, sometimes when I'm in the saddle, I will put my Osmo on uh, this clamp mount. What thing stout too? Dang. And uh, put it on my tether or somewhere and have it pointing right at me just kind of for a different angle. You can do all you want. I got this goose mount, I call it. 
match your GoPro or Osmo right there and you can kind of clamp it to anything. I use this in quite a bit, but you up in the tree just about all you want. Boy, I tell you, you mess around and get uh, two or three different cameras going, you'll mess around and miss a shot or something. So I don't get too overly excited about a bunch of different cam cameras and camera angle. Oh, I do like to get the shot on video if any way possible. I got to where I won't hardly shoot a turkey unless I can get him on, on video most of the time, you know. But the deer stuff, you know, I just, I don't know. I don't, sometimes it's a lot easier in a shooting house. You get up in a tree and boy, you can have stuff going everywhere trying to cut stuff on this and that. Kind of depends on the situation. I like to be ready though. I usually always got two with me in the tree. Uh, this little uh osmo and the x811 or the g7x so you can get a lot going on up there in the tree self-filming it's so much easier that's why i like hunting with cody a lot because i can just hold the camera and let him have the weapon so but the self-filming part can be a little tricky but they got a lot of stuff out these days that makes it a lot easier I always tuning and fixing on it trying to make it a little easier and a little better but that's basically my camera setup about probably most of the time will just be the i'll have this osmo that i'm filming with now and then either the uh g7x or the xa11 i really like that xa11 because the quality is the zoom the zoom you can put that thing on digital zoom or whatever it's called manual and buddy it'll get way out there and bring them right in there to you but anyway went over a little tree stands the other day the uh, mobile setups and stuff. Now that's the camera. We just got to get in the woods, don't we? Anyway, maybe we'll catch a hog tonight. Appreciate y'all watching. Out of here.